Good morning children. We start with grammar today. Today we will learn imperative sentences. Now I am sure you will already know what imperative sentences are. They are any sentence that gives an order, makes a request or, uh, or, or gives out a command or a suggestion or an advice like you know eat your food on time, take your medicine on time, study regularly, uh, stand up, sit down, open your books, please bring me a glass of water. All these sort of sentences are imperative sentences. Okay, now here you will be taught any other type of sentence. How to form imperative sentences out of it. Okay, how to change other sentences into an imperative sentence. Now let's read. The imperative sentence gives an order request or command or makes an appeal or request, wish or a suggestion or gives advice. It usually does not begin with the subject but directly with the base verb. The subject is mostly you and is understood. For example, in the class, teacher will say open your books. Teacher doesn't say class, open your books, correct? Or if a, a teacher is angry with someone, teacher just says get out. Very rarely teacher takes the person's name. Teacher just looks at the person and says get out. It means that you are talking to that person and your subject whom you are talking to is you. Now this you is not generally mentioned in an uh, imperative sentence or generally the subject is not mentioned. Whom you are talking to, whom you are giving the command, whom you are giving the advice, whom you are wishing for is not generally mentioned in an imperative sentence. Yes, you just mention the sentence itself without the subject. That is the person whom you are talking to. Very rarely they mention the person or generally it's not there. Okay. Now, see the examples. Be quiet. The whole sentence is actually what? Be quiet. I just written you in the bracket that you know what is the subject you I told you what is the uh, subject your sentence always starts with a subject correct then you have subject verb object yes so here you have your subject you which is not given it's understood clear then you're just giving the command be quiet next stop the bus see me here uh, actually your the subject is you here again it's a command Take your medicines on time. It's an advice that you are giving uh, to whoever you are giving the advice. Okay, you can uh, take the name of a person. So, may take your medicine on time. But generally, that doesn't happen. You are just speaking to the person, looking at the person and giving the advice. Please open the door. Here it's a request. Now, no right turn. It's a traffic signal or a warning. Don't try to cross the line. Again here it's a warning. Always remember the person who has been nice to you. Here it's a suggestion. Let us finish this work before the bell rings. Here again it's a suggestion. Have fun at the party. This is a wish. You wish someone good. Okay. You wish some good for somebody. Please grill the sandwich. Here again it's a request. So as you've seen a few exercise a uh, few examples. Now let's go ahead. Imperative sentences usually end with a period that is a full stop. Though sometimes they may end with an exclamatory mark. Usually imperative sentences used for delivering a forcible warning or command or even request may end with an exclamatory mark. Now the examples are given below. Please leave the door open. Yes, you're Watch your step. So this is when you are saying something very forcibly. Yes. Wash your hands. Steep turn. Go slow. Maintain silence. This is when you will have an exclamatory mark. But then it is not an imperative. It is not an exclamatory sentence. It's giving an order or it's making a request but 
forcibly. That's the reason the exclamatory mark is there. So it is an imperative sentence. Now how to write an imperative sentence? Writing an imperative sentence is a bit different than other types of sentences. Mainly because the subject, because of the subject. Imperative sentences generally begin with a verb and you may seem to be missing a subject. But that's because imperative sentences are naturally directed at someone since they give direct orders. So you are directing it at a particular person or a particular group of persons. Like I said, class, open your book. So you are directing your orders to the whole or at the whole class. Okay, since it is implied that the sentence is directed at a person or group of people, it is usually unnecessary to name the subject. So it's not necessary to name the subject. To make this simpler to understand, let's try adding a person's name to the beginning of every imperative sentence. Now just to help you understand how you form the imperative sentence. See, supposing you add a name whom you are addressing, whom you are talking to or the subject, okay? Sally, please don't give the dog popcorn. Drivers, drive slowly. Sam, eat your popcorn. Everybody, be quiet. Now, if you take away the underlined subject from the sentences above, so the same sentences, what are there on top? But you just remove the subject, just remove the name of the person whom you are talking to, okay? Then it becomes an imperative sentence. They still make sense. Please don't give the dog popcorn. Drive slowly. Eat your popcorn. Be quiet. You can see that they all still make sense because the imperative verb lets us know that the sentence is our, our commands. Okay? Okay. Remember that the subject of an imperative sentence is understood. Because all imperative sentences are directed at another person or group of people. Remember the distinctions between imperative sentence and other types of sentences. Even if it ends with an exclamatory mark, an imperative sentence cannot be an exclamatory sentence because exclamatory sentences do not share commands. So an exclamatory sentence will express surprise or shock or extreme unhappiness. Yes, but it will not give a command. So when you have a command being given with an exclamatory mark, it is not an exclamatory sentence but an imperative sentence. This is just a repetition of what I've given you on top. It's just everything uh, in short. But I've given it to you again so that you remember this well. You do not forget it. Okay? Even if it ends with a period, that is a full stop. An imperative sentence cannot be a declarative sentence because declarative sentences only share statements, not commands or wishes. So they just make a sentence. They do not make, give a command. That maybe they will say today is a Monday. Uh, it's a bright day today. I'm going to school or something like that. It's just a statement. They're not giving any command. The moment you see a command, you see a request. Generally, it is an imperative sentence. Now, this is an example. Study how you will change the sentence. Rewrite as imperative sentence. Study the following examples. Do give the child a book. Okay. Now, what do you have to do? Imagine when they tell you, make it into an imperative sentence. The first thing you have to imagine is, Imagine you are the person giving the command or making the request or making the wish. Okay, you are the person. So imagine the same sentence that's given to you. If you had to give a command, how would you give it? Using the same sentence. So do give the child a treat. If you want to give a command, yes. Just it will be give the child a treat. Close the door. Now here, this is a bit tricky, the second one, because close the door is already a command. And they're telling you now, change it into an imperative sentence. 
So when a command is already given and they're telling you to make it into an imperative sentence, you will add let. Yes, it's like changing the voice. Okay, so let the door be closed. You will add let. Let the door be closed. So you will begin the sentence with let. And then let what happen? The door be closed. That is the action. What you want to happen. The door be closed. Next one. Now here I gave you the other way around. I remember I told you both are imperative sentences. So here again they are giving you the imperative sentence but the other way around. And you have to just change it. This is much more easier. So let it not be touched. You just say giving a command do not touch it. Imagine, I told you, imagine you're giving a command. Yes? So you just say, do not touch it. Fourth one, you should have plenty of water. So remove the, you uh, remember, remove the subject. So you should will go and it starts with a verb. Starts with a verb. Have is the verb. So have plenty of water. Why are you eating junk food? So, so this is a negative sentence. You don't want them to do something. So you will add or start with the word don't. Don't eat junk food. Don't eat junk food. Okay. We will dance together. So here again what did I say? Let's dance together. Let's dance together. You will have wherever you have we will, she will. Okay. They will. You will start with let's. Whenever you have, I'm repeating it. Huh? Whenever you have, we will, they will. Your answer will start with let's. Let's dance together. You cannot take this. Again, you're telling someone not to do something. So, your command, remember, don't take this. You must not travel alone. So, again, you're saying someone or you're telling someone not to do something. So, don't. Travel alone. Okay. So. <coughs> this is your exercise. I have just given you 13 sentences. Uh, do the sentences. And in case you have any doubt. Whichever sentence you cannot do. Or you find it difficult. You can ask me the whatsapp okay uh, okay this is an error over here f o l l this is a typing error so you please change it rewrite the following sentences as imperative sentences i'm reading the sentences we will journey together so what did i say when we you have we will you will start with let's okay why waste your time building here again you're telling someone not to do something so it starts with do you cannot lie there. Here, you will remove the subject you. And again, you are telling someone not to do something. So, don't. We must throw it away. Now, this, we must again, it will start with let's. Okay? Or just, it will also say, throw it. Because, remove this, we must. Remove this, we must. And just say, throw it away. This is your subject, correct? This is the person whom you are talking to. This is your helping verb. So you remove both of these and just say throw it away. Or if you want, you can also say let's throw it away. Okay? Both answers are correct. I want to see. Again, the same thing. You will remove this and start it with. I am not going to tell you now. I have told you enough. The rest, I am just reading the sentences. Okay? All of you take your seat. Why don't you study regularly? You must say sorry. Kindly do the needful. They should work together. Please pass the sauce. We will learn the song. Why give anyone a chance to talk? So this is the end of your lesson. And I hope you can do everything so that you get everything right. In case you have a doubt, as I said earlier, you can message me. 
Thank you and do have a good day.